You know that miraculous moment when a queen ants flies onto your bed at night? Yeah, that's cool. But you know what's even better? Getting literally an entire colony for free. But you know what's even better than that? Being part of the small percentage of people who subscribe to my channel because it's free and they can always change your mind later. One lucky day, I was alerted by my parents about the existence of this colony. My house has several different pest ants that comes and goes every once in a while. I've had black green sea ants, ghost ants, pavement ants, and even a big headed ant that I mentioned in my previous video. Many people think that because I'm an ant lover, I will worship and feed these pest ants. However, that is not the case at all. Truth be told, I hate them just as much or even more than the regular person. Pest ants are usually invasive and harmful to the environment, being able to outcompete or even outright kill most native species. They even pose a threat of squeezing through the tiny gaps of my formicariums and killing my colonies. However, I don't really mind these species of pest ants. These are giant honey ants, or in simpler terms, carpenter ants of the species Campanotus irritans. I actually own and keep a colony of this species. Do check out the video after this one. Unlike other competitor ants, ants of these species are unable to eat or even dig into wood, meaning that they are harmless. They're probably wondering, since this colony is so harmless, why did I catch the colony? Unfortunately, it was a result of the harsh reality we all face. This world is full of things that don't go as you wish. The longer that you live, the more you realise reality is just made of pain, suffering and emptiness. In this world, Whenever there is light, there are also shadows. As long as the concept of winners exists, there must also be losers. Where does all this pain and suffering and emptiness come from? It all comes down to the one thing we and keepers can stand. The thing that I built this nation for. The forbidden question. Hey bro, my house a lot of ends, can you help me catch or not? Leave a comment if you got the reference. Yes, if you haven't already figured it out, my parents asked me to catch this colony. As such, I took the entire hose and put it inside a spare tank. However, I made a mistake. This is the state that the colony is currently in. Half of their population died. All of their brood died. What happened? Well, actually nothing happened. Like, literally nothing happened. I neglected the colony and let them grow inside the tubing despite it not being a suitable formicarium and it being full of waste. What was I doing all this time? Why did I move them earlier? And most importantly, why is my upload schedule so inconsistent? Well, it was because of the exams. Okay, no, I got addicted to Minecraft and chess, I'm sorry. Anyways, after binge watching early up now, I've gotten the motivation to get things right. First, I made a formicarium for the colony. Check out my previous video to find out how I made this formicarium for just $1. Next, I gave it to them and waited. Overnight, the colony moved into the formicarium. Now my next step is to feed this colony and nurture them to recovery. However, this is going to be no easy task. I do not know if the queen is even still alive, and wild colonies are also extremely unstable when suddenly brought into captivity. I will keep you guys updated on the progress of the colony when anything major happens. Until then, like and subscribe for more end content and check out my other videos such as how to make a $1 from Macarium and how to catch a queen end without just luck. Anyways, that's the end of the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!